Carl, take a look at shares of American. The airline is announcing that starting on July 1st, so starting next Wednesday, it will fill its planes completely. Remember, until now, it has capped its load factor or the percentage of seats that it would fill on a plane. It would cap it at 70 percent. Well, that's going to end as of next Wednesday, also adding about 1,000 flights to its schedule in July. So this is American saying we've got more people flying, we've got more demand, and it's time for us to fill these planes all the way. They stress that people are still going to be required to wear masks. They're still going to be pushing the fact that they're uh, sanitizing these planes in between every flight. Uh, but the time has come for them to sell every seat, fill every seat, and no longer guarantee that it's capped at a 70% load factor. Guys, this is a day with a lot of airline news between this, the unions asking for another bailout, and the airline CEOs meeting with the vice president at the White House a little bit later on today. Hey, Phil, how does it contrast with what Delta said yesterday and their guidance about adding yeah. flights at year end, really adding no more than they'll have this August? Well, it's unclear if American will continue adding flights in uh, September, October, November. It may be that, look, we're going up to 4,000 flights in July, and maybe we cap it after that. Um, nobody expects us to see strong travel demand, or what I mean, a growth in travel demand in September and October, unless we see corporate travel come back. If that doesn't come back, then you're going to see incremental growth. And we, I think we have the latest passenger numbers in a, in a chart here. It's up to 623,000 yesterday. That's a nice improvement from 87,000 at the low in April, but nowhere close to where we were a year ago. It's still down 77%. So what you're seeing right now are the airlines saying, we got to make as much hay as possible in July and August, because come September, unless things change with coronavirus, as well as corporate travel demand, we're going to have to see things plateau, if not pull back slightly.